our Savior and the good news that he brings. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining us tonight. All right, kids. Well, I would like to do with you tonight something that my grandpa did with me almost every year at Christmas time, sometimes on Christmas Eve. And I want to read you guys the Christmas story. And we're going to go to a couple different places in the Bible so we can talk about that. Sound good to you? Sound like a plan? Okay, you guys ready? All right, so kind of stretch out a little bit so you can relax. If you want to stretch a little bit? Uh, you don't have to. That's okay. All right. Stay as you are. It's fine. You guys ready? Okay, so let me get my glasses on. I'm getting old when I need my glasses. Okay, so we're going to start in Luke chapter number one and verse number 26. Maybe I'll ask these questions. It says there in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. And she was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph a descendant of King David. And Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Now, now certainly, Mary was confused. She was a little bit disturbed. Uh, and she tried to think what this angel might mean. And, but the angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. And you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord will give him the throne of his ancestor David. And he will reign over Israel forever, and his kingdom will never end. But Mary asked the angel, how can this happen since, since I'm a virgin? I've never been with, with a guy before. And the angel replied back to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will, will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. And what's more, your, your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her own age, too. People used to say that she was barren, but she has conceived the Son, and she's actually six months along. You know why? Because the Word of God will never fail. And Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. Then the angel left her. Now, can you imagine if an angel showed up and started talking to you? Wouldn't that be kind of crazy? Kind of freak you out, wouldn't it? I don't know, kind of come out of nowhere and then all of a sudden there's an angel talking to you. Well, I imagine if that's happening, if you learn to listen when God says stuff, he says some stuff that's pretty important, don't you think? Have you ever heard God talk to you before? Yeah, you have? Yeah, I think, I think we learn how to listen. God speaks to us sometimes, right? Okay. All right, let's keep on with the story here. Now, by the way, at this point, she had her husband, Joseph, and her God uh, engaged to be married. And, and uh, you know, I wonder what he would think about this. So the next part of the story, Matthew 1 talks about that part. Kind of goes back a little bit, but picks up on Joseph's part. It says, this is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His, Mary, his mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before this marriage took place, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, to whom she was engaged, he was a righteous man. I mean, he was a good guy. And he did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement with her very quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And all this happened to fulfill the Lord's message as he said through the prophet Isaiah, look, the virgin will conceive a child, and she will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Now, just, just like the angel came and talked to Mary, the angel came and talked to Joseph, too. That way, they were both on the same page as what was going on. But notice in talking to both Mary and Joseph, they 
angel told them what to name the baby, and that name is what? What did they name the baby? Jesus. Jesus, that's right. And what's so amazing about this story is it's that whole thing about Emmanuel and God with us. This story is about how God came to this world to be with us. Isn't that wild? That God, he's not just out in space somewhere hanging out and doing whatever he wants, but he loved us so much that he came to earth and he came as this baby named Jesus. Right? Okay, let's, let's get back to the story. Now, now, Mary and Joseph did get married, right? Okay. But after all that happened, let me get my glasses back here. Go back to Luke chapter 2, kind of where we were before. This is actually the, the story of the baby being born, okay? So at that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout all of the Roman Empire. And this was the first census taken when Quirinius was the governor's governor of Syria. Now, a, a census is just when they count the people and see how many people are there. And all returned their ancestral towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. And he traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee, and he took with him Mary, who was now expecting a child. So she was like very pregnant, right? And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of linen, and laying him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them in the inn. And this, this is like uh, the nativity scene going on there. So remember the story that Mary and Joseph were, were coming in and they couldn't find a place. All the rooms were booked in the hotel. So they did find a place of where they kept all the animals. And you know what a manger is? A manger is like a trough where animals eat out of it. Like they throw the feed in there and the animals come eat out of it. So they must have cleaned that out. And when she had the baby, she wrapped them in some linens and laid them in a manger. That's how Jesus was born. Isn't that pretty wild? My goodness. So probably hanging out with the animals while this happened. You ever, you ever see a nativity scene where they got Mary and Joseph and the baby and they got cows and sheep and stuff in there? Yeah, that's sort of what's going on here. All right, so let's get back to the story. So we're still in Luke chapter 2, and it says, That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. So in the middle of the night, these shepherds are out there, and they're hanging out with their sheep, right? And suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord surrounded them. But as you can imagine, the shepherds, they were terrified. They were scared. But the angel reassured them, do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all the people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by the signs. You will find the baby wrapped snugly in strips of linen, lying in a manger. And suddenly... The angel was joined by vast hopes of the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and all peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest. Now, can you imagine being shepherds out in the field, hanging out with the sheep, and all of a sudden these great hosts of angels came and started talking to you? And they started telling them about the story of Jesus, that Jesus is born. Is this God coming to be with us? That's what this story is all about. That'd be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Now, keep reading the story here. One last part, and we'll be done. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem, and let's see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. And they hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was a baby lying in the manger. And after seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. And all who heard the shepherd's story was astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flock, glorifying and praising God for all they had seen and heard, just as the angel had told them. Well, that is the Christmas story 
about Jesus. And so is that a neat story? Do you believe that story? Do you believe <coughs> that about Jesus, right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Woo! I feel like we should have said that.